The following eight projects have cat sounds. When I push and release the press switch, you hear a sound that may remind you of that of a cat. And then I can move the adjustable resistor over different levels to see the difference in tone. Do those sounds remind you of the meowing of a cat? I connected the whistle chip across points A and B. And now the sound is louder. And you hear sound from both the speaker and whistle chip. Using the jumper wires, I connected the whistle chip between these two points. And the sound is different. You can push and release the press switch at different speeds to see more sound variation, to hear more sound variations. Now I am going to connect the whistle chip between these two points. See how it uh, sounds now. Now I remove the speaker so the only sound you hear is from the whistle chip. Doesn't sound as much like a meowing cat to me, but does it still sound that way to you? Now I am going to use the jumper wires again to connect the whistle chip between these two points. Now I'm going to place the whistle chip back along on these two points. Now, finally, I'm going to reinstall the speaker and I am going to replace the C4 capacitor with the C5 one. And I'm not going to do this, but you can repeat the previous uh, seven projects using this capacitor. Now, the meowing is much slower. It may remind you of a cat that is lazy. To make it sound even lazier, I connected the whistle chip between points C and D. And thank you for listening. This is a variant of Project 358 motor deflection, if you have seen that one, except the positions of the LEDs are reversed. Now when I push and hold down the press switch, the green LED flashes. Then when I release the press switch, the red LED blinks. 
Now, when I push the press switch, current will flow in this direction. Then when I release the press switch, current will flow in this direction. It's just a very brief current though, enough to light the LED for a millisecond. That's pretty interesting. The following 10 projects feature numbers on the seven segment display that are controlled by the photoresistor. When there is insufficient light on the sensor, the display will come on. When enough light hits the photoresistor, the display will turn off. And I am not going to do all the numbers, but I'll show a few. This is the uh, number eight. When you shine enough light on the photoresistor, the eight goes out. Re remove the light and the eight comes back on. And now I can do like, let's say the number four. I would make the appropriate connections. And there you have it. The following eight projects are variable oscillator circuits. When I turn on the slide switch, you'll hear a sound coming from the speaker. Moving the lever on the adjustable resistor will increase or decrease the pitch. Now I'm going to place the whistle chip over the Q2 transistor and the pitch is higher overall. Now connecting a jumper wire to it, I'm going to place the whistle chip between these two points. pretty high pitch. And finally, I am going to place the whistle chip over the C1 capacitor and the pitch is lower. Now I am going to replace the R5 resistor with the photoresistor. And not only can I adjust the sound by moving the RV lever, but also by adding or removing light from the photoresistor. This could be like an air guitar because you uh, can pretend you're strumming the strings well the sound actually changes since your finger is blocking the light from the photoresistor. And you could pretend that the adjustable resistor is, uh, acts like your fingers that hold down on the strings to change the notes more. Now, I am going to remove the speaker after I replace the, after I reinsert the R5 resistor. And then I am going to make the same connections I did with the whistle chip earlier. Now you just hear sound coming from the whistle chip, not the speaker. and then place it over the C1 capacitor. Now I am going to reinsert the speaker and I am going to place the C3 capacitor 
over the C1 capacitor. Turn on the slide switch. And now you hear clicking sounds. At a rate of once or twice per second, depending on the setting of the adjustable resistor. It's like a metronome. And then I can put the C4 capacitor in place. Now the clicking is slower. And to finish this project series, I am going to place the C5 capacitor in place. The rate of clicking is even slower than when the C4 capacitor was used. 